Hello, Gary Simon of Corsetro.com here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a quicker way of getting started with the quick start for Angular 2. All right, so let's go ahead back here and at the angular.io quick start page, which you can access from simply angular.io and you click on get started. You'll notice down here, just under overview, you can also clone the entire quick start application from GitHub. So let's click on that. So now we're at GitHub and we'll see we have the Angular Quick Start source. And one thing I wanna note real quickly is this part that's bold. This is not the perfect arrangement for your application. It's not designed for production. It exists primarily to get you quickly started with learning and prototyping in Angular. So just so you understand that, the prerequisites are, of course, Node.js and NPM, which we already went over in the previous video. And if we didn't, if you didn't see that, go ahead and check that out on my channel or on the course at coursetra.com. Uh, and also, you're going to need Git installed. And if you're curious and you don't have Git already installed, installing Git, we can click on this link here and it will show you how to install it on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So I'm not gonna go over that, just know that that's where you find out how to install it if you don't already, because it's needed in order to run this from the command line, which is git clone and this right here. So what we wanna do is just copy this. And I'm gonna use git bash, I already have it opened up here. All right, so I'm in my examples and that would be the equivalent of your project folder and we'll go ahead and paste that in. And instead of just my proj, I'm gonna name it angular-quicker start, and then hit enter. And this should go by pretty quickly. So now we can cd into that project name. All right. And now what we can do let me get this down. First, I want to go ahead and open this up in Visual Studio Code. So quicker start right here. We'll select folder and we'll just note a few differences here based on the default structure that the quick start guide showed us in creating the initial app structure. We already have here an app folder called app.component.ts. Again, it's the same thing and we're also noticing that we don't have the JAWS, the .js files because we haven't yet run the npm install, which would be the next step. But you can see the index.html is here, or and there's also just a, a few other files that weren't already created. But the ones that we manually created in the previous video are already here. So index.html, we have the styles.css, and the main.ts, appmodule.ts, and appcomponent.ts. This spec file here is for testing. Okay. So real quickly, we'll go ahead and run npm install and you'll see it's basically the same process. Also the package.json file. Again, all the same. And it's currently doing the work. So I'm just going to pause until that is done. All right, so it is now done. And you can see we have our node modules folder here. Let's go ahead and type in npm start, just as we did before when we did this process manually. And now let's go ahead and open up. We can refresh this. And of course, if we go ahead and change, for instance, in the app component.ts file, We'll add a couple exclamation points, save it. We'll see, it will automatically reload for us. So that there is the quicker method of getting started uh, and installing an Angular 2 application. All right, so the final way of getting Angular 2 up is through the Angular client. And so that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the next video.